Hi, Greg with Gree here with another quick tip for you. Uh, if you ever get one of those units where the customers complain that it's dripping out of it, stuff like that, that's usually because of dirt and the water can't track down the evaporator coil properly and, and the blower wheel's not throwing the, the air off the blower wheel properly, that's why you're getting water dripping off that unit. So even if it doesn't look real dirty, if you're getting water dripping off of it, I would do a deep clean to that whole evaporator section and the blower wheel, and then make sure the drain is clear as well. Remember, a dirty filter could restrict airflow, causing the coil to freeze and then leak as it melts. If the unit was dirty, then you might want to get out your mighty brackets, pull that head loose, and actually check that drain and maybe blow the drain out, make sure we don't have any drain problems after you clean the machine. You can refer to one of our other videos, how you can do a deep clean to the blower wheel, the evaporator coil with a little pressure washer. And then the last thing I would do is pull the head unit loose off of there with my mighty brackets. So I've got a place to rest that unit on, get that drain line disconnected and blow it out and make sure it's clean and we're not gonna end up with a condensate uh, overflow problem or leaking water out of the unit. You may also consider other common causes of water leakage. For example, low refrigerant can freeze the coil causing leaks when it defrosts. If the unit is not level, water may not drain from the unit properly. Or a faulty condensate pump, if installed, could cause water to back up. And remember, three or by your side.